In today's Stretch Your Dollar, we are hitting the outlet malls for some back to school shopping. Patricia Lopez went out in search of the area's outlet malls and also the biggest one in the state to find out if it's worth the drive. Patricia? Well, Linus, so if you haven't been to the outlet malls in the last few years, it is a totally different experience. What was once a place for factory seconds or irregular items now is a place to find name brands and in recent years, ultra high end designers. But before you go shopping, here's what you need to know. In the greater Houston area, you have the newly opened Tanger Outlets in Texas City, Katie Mills Shopping Center, the Houston Premium Outlets in Cyprus, and the outlets at Conroe. And about 165 miles away in San Marcos, you have the biggest outlet mall in the United States, the San Marcos Outlets. Now, you came all the way from Houston. That's a three-hour drive. Has it been worth it? Yes, it has. Issa Johnson and her family are pros at finding the savings. Houstonian Mary McDonald also made the trip. The normally the outlets in St. Marcus I found have better savings. But these shoppers know how to navigate the outlets. If you don't, no problem. We brought along image and wardrobe consultant Sarah Shaw to help. There are two kinds of outlets, no matter what they're called. First, each individual outlet store is different. Outlet stores can be called all kinds of different things. They can be called outlets or warehouse stores or company stores. The first kind is a store that has original merchandise from the regular retail store. So it's merchandise from their sale racks or that surplus or maybe from past seasons. For example, this gold backpack from Juicy Couture is an item that was in the retail store. The second kind of store is one that manufactures merchandise specifically for the outlet store. There are clues, so you can either look at the tags. In other stores, the actual tag looks a little bit different. Like clothes at the Gap Outlet, specifically made for the outlet, you can tell by the three dots on the tag. But stores like Juicy Couture have a combination of both original retail merchandise and made for the outlet. Here's another biggie. Some stores are not outlets even though they're located in an outlet mall. Another tip, know what the item is worth. How can you know if the outlet price is a good price if you don't know the regular retail price of an item? So a word of caution when you are shopping at the outlet stores, some deals are hit and miss. For example, this Michael Kors crossbody bag was $59 six weeks ago. Today, it was 99 bucks. Sometimes when the regular retail store, they have better sales than the outlets. And finally, fewer stores mean better quality. UGG has one outlet store in all of the central U.S., and we spotted plenty of money-saving options inside. Okay, some other things to consider while shopping at the outlets. Pack some snacks, dress for the weather, and when you see a bathroom, make a stop. It's very <laughs> spread out out there. Don't pass it up. I love that bag on you, Patricia. Now, I can't handle the crowds. Is there a better time to shop when it comes to how many people are actually out there with you? Yeah, early in the mornings, Tuesday or Wednesday are the best days to shop. Okay.